All right, today we're gonna to talk about grain weight. Um, you're gonna say, Steve, why do I care? Why does this matter to me? Well, here's why. When I first got into guns, um, no one explained it to me. And so for me, I thought grain weight referred to the amount of gunpowder in the bullet cartridge. And so I heard grain, I immediately went to a grain of gunpowder, uh, was under the misconception that it had to do with the amount of gunpowder. It actually has to do with the weight of the actual bullet, the projectile that is shot out of your gun. And so when you hear cartridge, the cartridge is comprised of uh, a few components. You have the bullet, you have the bullet casing, you have the primer, and then you have the gunpowder inside. And so what happens is the firing pin from the bullet hits the primer, ignites the powder, causes an explosion, and then sends the bullet downrange. Um, so grain weight refers to how much the bullet actually weighs. And so why does this matter to you? Well, a heavier grain weight is gonna have more stopping power, but heavier recoil. Uh, less grain weight, since it's a smaller bullet, it's gonna travel faster and then have less recoil on your gun. Um, then you can also get into the discussion of full metal jackets. These are referred to as FMJs uh, versus hollow points. And so you wanna make sure that for self-defense, if you're carrying, um, also for home defense, you wanna make sure that you have hollow points because they um, expand on impact and have less penetration. So you're not gonna accidentally shoot somebody behind the, your actual target um, because these don't over penetrate. And if you uh, want to get into that discussion, I can make another video for that. Um, but for now, uh, comment what caliber, what grain weight do you shoot? And if you wanna see more content like this, like and follow for more.